the airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. investigasyon ng kapalisan sa Dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu labot na itong video nga mikatap sa social networking site nga Facebook diin makita ang laraw nga pagsupak sa executive order ni Lapu-Lapu City Mayor Junior Dahong Chan nga nagdili sa pag-imbitar o bisita gikan sa laing lugar at sa kapistahan ni Adong Sabado mato ni Police Colonel Arnel Banzon hepe sa kapalisan sa Dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu nga iyahan na kilingi pasusi o gitonan ng posibleng kaso nga ilang isang at batok sa nag-upload nini uh, Mga pag-feedback ron sa akong ano sa akong investigation na uh, section kung sa to katong regarding sa kataloging na ano, no, violation uh, ano. then we will be from there siguro we will be preparing appropriate charges sila if 
na makita na to nga na ay uh, mga kalapasan. Nasayran nga, makita sa video ang pag-video kay, ingon man pagsayaw-sayaw sa mga tao, din tataw nga, doon ay dagang bisita. Ang giimbitar, o nanini, si Mayor Chan nilawat sa EO nga nagdili sa mga upunganon. Sa pagpangimbitar o bisita, gikan sa laing lugar, atol sa kapistahan niya doong Sabado. Lakip nga gimando sa EO nga kon mahimo, maghikay lang ang publiko alang sa ilang kaugalingon atol sa fiesta. Kiniaroon paglikay sa panayon nga pagkatap sa coronavirus disease 2019 kon COVID-19. Gito ga nasab ni Mayor Chan nga ilahan nang na-identify ang uploader sa video og nasuta nga residente da kini sa barangay Paho. We already identify and then uh, napabot na sa uh, feedback from the uh, station 3. So pa sakay ni kaso. Yes. Itataw ni Chan nga mahimong makamulta og mapriso kadto mga tawo nga makalapa sa iyang gilawatan nga kamanduan. Fatch Anthony in so CC Tianus. Update sa COVID-19 sa Central Visayas, ang kaso sa nakbayan sa Sugbo kagahapong Adlawa, doon ay pito ka mga bangong kaso. Kini base usab sa report sa Department of Health. Samtang ang nakbayan sa Mandawi, tulo ka bangong kaso. Lapo-lapo, pito. Samtang sa Lalawigan sa Sugbo, doon ay 28 ka bangong kaso. Negros Oriental, walo. Lalawigan sa Bohol, 16. Samtang huwag bangong kaso sa Sikihor kagahapong Adlawa. Sa Kiltibukan, ang Central Visayas, adunay sa Sinta Inuybi Kakaso, Kagahapong Adlawa. Gisubhana ang bagong port terminal sa multipurpose building sa Asangil Port, Barangay Mactan, Siyudad sa Lapu-Lapu. Ang duha ka mga proyekto nga gahinan o salapi sa panahon ni kanhi kongresista Aileen Radasa. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Chris Ligat. Sila si Kongresista Pas Radasa, kanhi Kongresista Aileen Radasa o mga barangay kapitan o ubang barangay opisyal ang miputol sa ribbon timaan sa pagsubo sa doha ka mga proyekto na gigahinan o 20 milyon pesos sa parahon ni kanhi Kongresista Aileen Radasa o giparayo na sa inahan ng kasamtangang Kongresista. Tungod nini, doon na ay kapasilungan ang mga pasahero, mga turista o mga kargaminto ng mga biyahe paingan sa mga barangay sa isla o vice versa para hon sa kusog nga hangin o uwan. Si kanhi kongresista Radasa Mingon nga mahim usab nga evacuation center ang multipurpose building alang sa mga mulupyo sa barangay Mactand o guban pang mga mulupyo kung doon ay bagyo o ubang katalagman. This facility will provide convenience to passengers, opunganons, and tourists alike, giving them temporary shelter while waiting for their trips especially during bad weathers. So, pwede usab kini mahimong evacuation center. Matod sa kanil kongresista nga iyang gatagan o prioridad ang duha ka mga proyekto kaya siya mismo nakasinati sa kalisod sa gianan sa pantalan kung musakay sa pambot paingon sa isla. Ang ah, nundo man ani, bato pa yun ni, nagipatong pato, yun nung aga. Tungod sa bato, maglatay-latay ta, matuwad, magani ta, usahay, lisod yun. And it's about time na nahon-nahonaan ni samtang congressman pa si Kong Aileen na kinahanglan maputangan na yun din itong multipurpose building other than sa pagpa-extend atong ipatasan o atong ipalapdan. Dito doon sa ating kongresista Radasa nga iyang ipaspasan ang pagtukot sa daghang drainage project o pagpalapad sa kadalanan sa lalaing barangay nga ipaagi sa DPWH. Gani, gihimo na ang groundbreaking sa road o drainage project sa Kagudoy, Barangay Basak o Buaya Road sa Barangay Bangkal nga gigahinan o dulan sa 50 milyon pesos sa niaging simana. Gipadaig sa kongresista nga iya kining yatagan sa takong prioridad tungod sa nasinati nga grabing pagbaha sa Luzon o sa Bicol Region o di sa gusto nga masinati usap gini sa siyudad sa Lapu-Lapu. Priority-wise is gihimo na to ang mga drainage project kay tawad kabaw naman siguro mo ang mga pangitabo dito sa Luzon na nibubaha ang barangay pilagay ka barangay karon nga nilubog yun nga nawa intiro barangay dili ta anak gusto nga may tabog na risa ato. Nasa Iran, 90% na sa city road sa siyudad sa Lapu-Lapu, si Bintano na sud sa tulog at termino pagkamayor ni Kongresista Radasa. Chris Ligan, CCTA News. 
Mga nagkawil-kawil o mga nagbitay nga mga kuryente diya sa poste, gustong ipahipos o ipaayo sa kagamahanan sa syudad sa Mandawi sa mga utility cable, electrical companies o ganun ma aron matud pa nga malikayan ang disgrasya diya sa kadalanan. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Merero sa Garino. Matod ni Attorney John Edo Ibanez, Executive Secretary sa Dakbayan sa Mandawi, nga gusto ni Mayor Jonas Cortez na ipahipos o ipaayo ang mga nagkawil-kawil ng poste sa kurente nga naa sa syudad. So, mauna nga atuwa na ganyan ng taga ng ultimatum ang mga utility companies, uh, cable companies, electrical companies, nga ayuhon ang ilahang mga spaghetti wars, mga mga nagitawag spaghetti wars. Kunya, uh, sa matter of fact, no, usas sa mga problema sa ato ang uh, Mandawi City Command Center, kaya ang uh, mga spaghetti wars nakaali sa atong CCTV cameras. So, gipang-identify na na nato, labi na sa ato ang uh, kaubanan sa video, o sa team, ang kanyang mga areas nga nais spaghetti wars, kaya mauna ito ay pauna sa mga utility companies para ayuhon. Matod ni Ibanias nga ang kamanduan gawas sa ordinansa hon nga gi-author ni Consul Joel Seno nga nagtinguha nga ilubong sa yuta ang tanang kable sa kurente ug telecommunications sa business district sa Dakbayan. First nato nga uh, public hearing together with the utility companies mao sa nailang gi-raise nga concern and uh, receptive man sila. And uh, even ang atong council lingon nga tagae mi ug unsay recommendation kay uh, moy matong may moy mabutang sa uh, mao nga ordinansa. Ang ordinansa hon napasar na sa second reading sa session sa konsel Kagahapon sa barangay matulungon sa Dalaget, Cebu, patay ang usa ka grade 9 nga estudyante, human na kurentehan sa nagkawil-kawil nga kurente. Mary Rose Sagarino, Sista News. City Anyos na sayop og gamit sa online app nag-order og daghan nga mga pagkaon sa usa ka fast food chain din dinhi sa Sugbo og nahitabo kini kagahapon diyas barangay Mabulo dakbayan sa Sugbo pasado alas 11 Natinga ang mga silingan sa bata nga niabot ang 42 ka mga food raiders nga nagda og pagkaon alang sa order sa City Anyos nga bata nga babae nga nigamit sa online app nga nag-order og pagkaon sa usa ka sikat nga kananan din sa Subo. Tungod sa pagalag sa phone, may resulta og error. Inay usa lang unta ka two-piece chicken ang iyang gi-order ang matod pa nga nagbalik-balik og pislit ang bata sa mao cellphone. Og inay nga 189 lang ang iyang mabayran, makabayad unta ang bata og dulaan 8,000 ka pesos. Human nga naluoy ang mga silingan, sila na lang ang nibayad sa mga order. Apag daghan yun, nga mga riders ang nanguli o gwa gayod mabayri. Giingon nga ang bata o bansi ang apuhan, salit nagtrabaho man ang iyang mga ginikanan. Naghilap kay nakuyawan o sab sa maong hitabo. Maukad to ito mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngat sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iyang atong Sari Corinta Isyete, karong alas 5 sa hapon, hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Mesa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Breath, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel coming down from heaven having great authority, and the earth became illumined by his splendor. He cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a haunt for demons. She is a cage for every unclean spirit, a cage for every unclean bird, a cage for every unclean and disgusting beast. A mighty angel, picked up a stone like a huge millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such force will Babylon the great city be thrown down and will never be found again. No melodies of harpists and musicians, flutists and trumpeters will ever be heard in you again. No craftsmen in my trade will ever be found in you again. No sound of the millstone will ever be heard in you again. No light from a lamp will ever be seen in you again. No voices of bride and groom will ever be heard in you again. Because your merchants were the great ones of the world, all nations were led astray by your magic potion. After this, I heard what sounded like the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, saying, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and might belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her harlotry. 
He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. They said a second time, Alleluia, smoke will rise from her forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, write this, blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that it is desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must 
flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Would to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth, and a wrathful judgment upon this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all Gentiles. Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads. Because your redemption is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. We are, this is the last week of this liturgical year. This Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent. And first Sunday of Advent, we should know that it's New Year for us in the church. That's another turn of our liturgical calendar. So this Sunday, greet each one, Happy New Year, no? Because January 1 is the civil calendar, we say New Year. But what we celebrate on January 1 as a church is the solemnity of Mary as the mother of God. So we are not celebrating solemnity of the new year. We are celebrating the solemnity of Mary as the mother of God. Our new year in our calendar is this coming Sunday. No, so that's our new liturgical calendar. No wonder in our readings... Because it's uh, Christ the King Sunday, last Sunday, we continue to have this tone, this message about, it sounds at first apocalyptic, meaning about ending, disaster. But the gospel, look at the gospel, how it ends today. It says, stand erect, raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. So the message is not about fear. It's not about uh, destruction. It's about redemption. That is what we are waiting. That is what we are looking after and looking forward. That is our destination. That is our destiny, our redemption. So it, we must be filled with joyful anticipation as we journey through life. You know, the, the, the first reading from the book of Revelation, again, it speaks of visions, images. This is not, uh, we cannot easily relate to this, actually. Uh, when we say we believe, we have faith, we enter into the history of these people, the Israelites, the Jews, the Hebrews. And this is not basically uh, culturally common to us. Stories like this, angels appearing, visions presented. But when we enter into the history of these people, this is their life. To see angels, to hear God's message in a dream, that is most common to them. Uh, in their times and in their culture and in their community, perhaps almost every day you hear about people, your neighbor telling you, I saw the angel appeared to me last night, or I hear God speak to me in a dream. That is most common to them. Now, when you hear Joseph sleeping and then an angel appeared to him in a dream and said, wake up, bring Mary with you, that is something ordinary to the Jews. When uh, the angel appeared to the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Blessed Virgin Mary was told, you will become the mother of the Son of God. When the Blessed Virgin Mary, the following day, perhaps when he, she, she told her neighbors, if she ever told them, then there's nothing new to them. But what is so crucial about all this is discernment. 
If it is so ordinary and so culturally uh, based that almost every day you hear them, it's part of life, then now it's the time to discern which is which, which comes from God and which comes from somewhere else. And that is most crucial. And that is what we are called. We are away from this culture or history, but at this present time, we are called for this. As we take turns in another liturgical year, we are reminded of this, to discern, prayerfully discern which comes from God or which comes from somewhere else. Let us do that often. Lord, I feel this way. Lord, I want this. Lord, is this really what you want for me? Discernment. We need that kind of prayer. And we need to pray in that manner. Lord, I wish for this. Lord, I like this. Lord, is this according to your will? Lord, I hear this. Lord, I read this somewhere. It's so beautiful. Lord, I, 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 I come to think of this. Lord, uh, I have this in my dreams. Lord, is it your will? Or does it come from you? As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, we are ending a liturgical year, and another year opens. This is a beautiful year for us, because we are to celebrate 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. It's time to pray and discern prayerfully. Lord, what is your, your will for me as a person, and what is your will for us as your church? Let us prayerfully discern every day what God wants of us and what he wants us to accomplish every day of our lives. As we are gathered to celebrate the mystery of your salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore his mercy. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as they hope for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in the events of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That we may look to the future with hope and confidence, let us pray to the Lord that the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers. We ask, Lord, listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift up to Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, His coming in glory await with unwavering hope. And so with angels and saints, we praise you without end, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and uh, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, Drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints are pleased you to all the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in all our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oraso Imperata. 
God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus, to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. We fly to your protection, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Our Lady, health of the sick, Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Saint Rock, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Calungsud. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Mabuhay!